if I were to ask you what the most important technology ever created was, what would you say? The internet, the printing press, the sticky note? Well, if you ask me, I would have to say the city. Because none of these great innovations, and really no great innovation, ever comes from just one person. It's always because a team is collaborating. And cities are what makes this possible. So what makes cities so special? Well, we can actually find the answer in a surprising place. The laws of thermodynamics. Consider an empty patch of outer space. Except it's not empty. It's sprinkled with trillions upon trillions of hydrogen molecules. But they're spread out, distant, cold, motionless, and unable to share their energy. Yet, as time goes on, an interesting thing begins to happen. Gravity takes hold and begins pulling the hydrogen molecules together. They start to bump into each other, collide, and share their energy. Eventually, the heat begins to rise, and a self-sustaining chain reaction begins. A star is formed. The same thing happens every time two people meet. There's always the chance for the flash of innovation, the spark of an idea. And cities? Well, cities are our stars. Cities are the places where there are so many people that these interactions happen with such predictable frequency that we have created an unstoppable en engine of innovation. In fact, it was in cities where we first kindled the light of scientific progress that brought us the modern world that we have today. But what happens if you keep condensing that star, keep making it denser? Well, you get a black hole, a singularity, an object so dense and so powerful that the laws of physics as we know them start to break down. So if cities, are stars of innovation, what is going to get us this singularity of collaboration? Well, we can try sticking seven billion people into one city, but then the traffic's gonna be even worse than LA. So we've gotta get creative, and we've got to go digital, which is why I'm here to tell you that within 10 years, distance will not be a factor and how we work, collaborate, or learn. You're going to be able to interact with anyone in the world, not like you're in the same city, but like you're in the same room. This is all going to be possible thanks to the single largest paradigm shift in technology since the personal computer. This technology is virtual reality. Virtual reality allows us to replicate the feeling of face-to-face -face communication. It's not only gonna allow us to work with anyone from around the world, it's gonna forever change how we innovate. Let's see what this means. First of all, everyone's gonna be able to have a corner office with a window overlooking the beach. <laughs> or Mars. But it actually goes significantly deeper than that. Imagine a global team of architects meeting together in a virtual space to design the building that they're creating. Or a data scientist who tackles a thorny problem using 3D graphical analysis. The list goes on and on and on. Hold up. You're telling me that these goofy ski goggles that people use to play video games are gonna transform the global economy? You're insane. Well, maybe, but hear me out. <laughs> Virtual reality is the only technology that truly allows us to replicate the feeling of face-to-face -face communication. This solves the single largest problem with digital communications today. They don't make you feel like you're actually present with the other people. And that word, presence, that's the key to the whole thing. 
Presence is the psychological phenomenon that occurs when your brain is convinced on a fundamental level that the virtual reality scene you're inhabiting is real. It's a magical sensation as the physical world fades away and you find yourself entirely immersed in the virtual simulation. In fact, studies have even shown that when you remember a virtual reality scene in which you experience presence, you don't remember it as if you were watching a movie or reading a book. You remember it as if it was real. Because to your brain, it was. Now, feeling like you're actually there is critical for communications of all kinds because of the subtle, nonverbal gestures and cues that we use to guide the higher order conversation every day. We've all had the truly exquisite pleasure of being on a conference call where everyone keeps talking over each other for hours, or an email thread where no one's even really sure what they're talking about. Virtual reality is going to allow us to cut through this clutter and get to true communications. If it weren't for presence, the virtual reality office and collaboration space would be no more than a gimmick. But because of presence, it's going to allow us to replicate those interactions and collaborations that make cities such special places today. It's a great paradox of the modern world that while we can communicate better than ever across distances, the best teams still want to have their employees in the same place whenever possible. And for right now, that's totally the most rational move because Nothing beats this. But pretty soon, that equation is going to flip. And when it does, everything changes. Because we're going to be able to turn the whole world into one giant entrepreneurial playground. Right now, the undisputed center of the startup universe is San Francisco, the promised land. And for most entrepreneurs, just as hard to reach. Never mind the fact that it costs $9,000 to rent a closet in a pizza shop, most of the world's top thinkers can't get a visa to the US. Or they simply don't want to leave their homes. Don't get me wrong. The amount of sheer unbridled genius in Silicon Valley today is nothing short of historic which is why it's even more exciting that we're soon going to be able to replicate that model and democratize it worldwide. Consider what Uber did for transportation. They took a once scarce resource and made it available at the press of a button. We're going to be able to do that for collaboration. Pretty soon, you're going to wake up in the morning, put on your virtual reality headset, and find yourself working with a programmer from London, a graphic designer from Shanghai, a user experience engineer from Mexico City. No airplanes, no visas, no office. Just collaboration and results. You're going to be able to work with anyone, anywhere, seamlessly. This is going to be fantastic for productivity, sure. But what it's also going to do is allow us to better harness the collective wisdom and intelligence of seven billion people worldwide to help solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. And we're gonna need them. Global warming, emerging pandemics, terrorist threats. These problems are all incredibly complex and uniquely modern and they all require a cross-functional global team to address. These are the kind of teams that are going to be uniquely suited to virtual reality collaboration spaces. I'm incredibly excited to witness this transformation that's going to unfold in front of our eyes over the next 10 years. So while I have to say goodbye for now, I'll see you at work.